Hey everyone, this is HostExaminer.com and I'm going to be doing an overview um, of the basic features of cPanel. This is specifically, uh, this example is going to be in HostGator hosting. cPanel is just the generic standard control panel for a lot of web hosts. So you're going to go ahead and log into control panel, into your cPanel. Um, so HostGator emailed me my username and passwords. If you don't have that, figure that out. It should be in your email. Um, so just go ahead and log into cPanel. And here we are in cPanel. Now this specific one is for HostGator, like I said, but um, it's just the HostGator theme. It's pretty much all the same features no matter what host you use. Um, it's going to be cPanel. So let's start at the top. Special offers, this is a bunch of stuff you can choose to purchase. It basically is not free, it costs money, like CPA for your taxes. There's uh, website templates you can purchase. Um, accept credit cards, a credit card system you can add to your site that will cost money. So I'll go on to the next thing. Those are basically optional things you can purchase. Billing system. This allows you to manage your billing. And for HostGator, the billing system is going to look like this. So you could, um, you know, add add hosting packages or view when yours expires, etc. Like this expires July 26. So this is all the billing stuff to purchase stuff. Um, domain management is where you can register domains, transfer domains, manage domains, um, transfer 7.95. You can purchase one, um, so that's domain management. And then there's account add-ons if you want to purchase, uh, like a Google AdWords credit. Request your own personal IP address, a dedicated IP address, two dollars per month. Transfer your account to another host, etc. Let's go back. Uh, website templates you can purchase. Live chat. Change style is the style of the cPanel, so you can see all these different styles. Current one is this HostGator style, but you can do a more basic one, uh, race car one, whatever. I like this regular one from HostGator. I don't really mind. Update contact info, change password. Uh, I think you understand that. Email accounts is how you set up your own personal email address on your domain and um, access it through webmail or Gmail. This is a whole lengthy process, whole other thing. So I'm going to have a video right here on the video. You can click on it here and I'll show a tutorial on how to set up your own email address but for now I'm just going over it so this is the email section you can set up forwarders autoresponders but yeah definite, definite, a definite must if you have your own hosting account and a domain name is set up your own personal email so I suggest checking out that tutorial SEO marketing you can go through these most are free they just you know submit your site to Google uh, search results and stuff like that Backup wizard, uh, let's go on that. Uh, you can back up your site, click backup, full backup, or just do it by directory. Let's do home directory. Then you'd click down uh, home directory and it would start the download. It's good to back up your files every you know, week or month or however often you want to. File manager, this is basically, okay, web root, I'll just do home directory, click home directory. That's This is like the main source of all your files on your server, your website. If you ever want to upload big files or download or modify something manually, this is like the hard drive of your whole site. This is where WordPress is going to be, your email accounts, everything is going to be here. Generally, you're not going to get into this much. Um, usually you use something called FTP, which is a separate program to access File Manager because it's a lot faster and easier, like FileZilla. But otherwise, if you want to do it manually through cPanel, this is File Manager where you access all your files. But again, for beginners, you're not really going to need that for now. Logs, you can see the statistics of your site, like how many visitors you've had, how often, what pages, and it's pretty cool. So this gives you a lot of good information. I think it can even track where the, they're coming from, like if it's a Google link from the Google results or maybe another website had embedded your link. You can check out the bandwidth. So this gives you all different statistics um, on your visitors on your site. Uh, security, like IP Deny Manager, you can put an IP address of someone you want to block from accessing your site. So for instance, if someone is spamming your site through the contact form, usually contact forms will provide you their IP address. You can then put it here, click Add, and it will block their, them from ever being able to access your site. Yes, they could of course use another computer or change their IP address, but for the most part, this will stop them. Um, down here, subdomains, if you want to at a subdomain so basically my domain is 6testme123.com this is just an example I want a subdomain subdomain would be like blog dots your domain so it would be a separate kind of site 
So instead of just going to uh, six test me one two three dot com, it would be blog dot six test me one two three dot com. So you can add subdomains so they're kind of like separate sites on the same domain. So that's um, how you add subdomains and then add on domains is adding new domains to the account. Um, depending on if your hosting plan allows you to host more than one domain, uh, park domain redirects, you can redirect your domain. If you don't want to have a site, you can just make it redirect to somewhere or you can make a certain link like uh, if they type in your domain name dot com slash blog, it'll redirect them or you can have the entire domain redirect um, or certain links redirect. So that's how you do that. Um, MySQL database, that's databases. We're generally not going to need, that's more advanced stuff, so I'm not going to get into that, but that's how you'd access MySQL uh, database like this. Um, the other thing is, oh yeah, Fantastico Deluxe. This is probably something everyone will need, even beginners. This is how you set up WordPress. It's click it. It's basically a third party like software that allows you to install scripts for websites, for WordPress, for example. That's the most common one. So if you want to install WordPress, you'd go through Fantastico Deluxe, click WordPress, and start a new installation. This is a whole nother tutorial I have because, again, it's it would, it's too long. It would create a whole new video. So link is right there. You can click it if you want to know how to install WordPress in cPanel and get started on a website with WordPress and all that stuff. So um, that's about it. Just two other things on cPanel. Here's uh, site builder. If you don't want to use WordPress, you can use a drag and drop style site builder. Um, that's a whole other video too I'll have. You can check that out. Um, the other thing is right down here is all the info on your server and uh, your hosting plan down here. The name servers. So if you have a domain hosted somewhere else like GoDaddy and you don't want to have to pay to transfer it, I'd recommend you just point the DNS to this hosting account. Um, if you don't know what that means, there's another video on that too. Um, so that way it's free. All you're doing is connecting the domain with your hosting account without having to pay anything. You just need these two name servers. You would paste number one certain name server and number two name server in your GoDaddy account and point it towards your HostGator account. Sounds complicated, but it's a pretty easy process. The link will be there if you want to see that video. Here's the IP address of your um, hosting account. Linux is the operating system. Here's how much uh, you know bandwidth you've used, and that's pretty much it. There's a lot of things here you won't use. Probably 90% of the things here in cPanel you will never need or use. But that's the basic overview, and again, all the links for the other tutorials on how to set up an email account, site builder, DNS, WordPress will be right there on the video or in the links below. And feel free to contact contact us on hostexaminer.com and thanks for watching.